hello, my name is Peter Hill, and I am originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I've lived here on the Pine Ridge Reservation for 13 years, and I currently work with a program called Iapi Galukinipi, which is a Lakota language immersion daycare program for young children. Well, this program that we have here is um, what's called a language nest. And we take children, enroll children who are around, right around their second birthday. And when they're here at our daycare program, everything is in Lakota. We speak to them regardless of what we're doing, um, feed them, change them put them down for naps, but everything is all in Lakota language. And so it's what's called a full language immersion program. And currently we are the only full immersion Lakota daycare program for kids as young as we have, um, not only here on this reservation, but I believe on any of the Lakota speaking reservations. <laughs> Before we opened our doors, there was not yet a formal uh, setting where children could come and learn Lakota as a first language unless the children were getting it within their own household, which is very, very rare nowadays. So there's been a lot of enthusiasm and actually much more interest in the program than we can possibly enroll given our size and our capacity. This is just the beginning. We want to keep this language nest program permanently as a feeder program for an eventual language immersion school. And so we want to expand upwards with this first cohort that we have and have a Lakota immersion elementary school with a full elementary school curriculum entirely in the language, but keep the daycare component so that we are, so that every year we're able to bring more kids into the elementary school program who have come through the daycare, who have learned Lakota as a first language from a very early age. It's very important for these little ones to know their language, you know, and uh, so that in the future they'll um, look back and, you know, to this time and, you know, as the adults when they grow up, you know, they, if they speak their, I mean, keep their language, then we want the language to be kept alive through them, you know, so, and I, I give Peter good, you know, good credit for starting this because we do need a, uh, a school like this for all kids, you know, whether if it's not just the one and two year olds, but for the bigger kids also, because they need to learn how to uh, preserve the language, the Lakota language. I came to the reservation back in 2001, um, fresh out of college, and I taught in the school system for 10 or 11 years. And as I learned the language and saw how the language was really disappearing among young people, and when I was first out here, there were very few speakers under age 30. Now there are very few speakers under age 40 or even a little older than that. It's alarming. There are a lot of people who are trying to work on the issue of, of the survival and revitalization of the language, and, and it's really going to take a lot. And so I felt that as a person living in Lakota country, where Lakota is the official language of the Pine Ridge Reservation, that really the most respectful thing that I could do, and what all outsiders should do to really be respectful, is to learn the language. So that's kind of where I started my journey. I never felt that it was really optional for me um, to learn the language. I, I really felt that it was a necessity. And the more I became involved in the community 
and in culture and um, attending aspects of native spirituality, the more it was brought home to me how important the language was and speaking the language.